when I do the video for that but for now you just need to know this reaction so this generates our NO2 plus ion which reacts with benzene as you saw in the electrophilic substitution example so you need to remember this reaction because they sometimes ask you that how is the NO2 plus electrophile generated and then you can write this equation and you'll be good to go and H2SO4 as I've mentioned over here it is acting as a catalyst so the fact that it is acting as a catalyst it tells us that this will be regenerated at the end of the reaction now how does that happen so we released H plus ions at the end of our electrophilic substitution mechanism. Uh, you can go back to the last slide and look at what we did for that. Uh, we released an H plus ion. So what happens is that the H2SO4, um, I'm sorry, why am I writing this? The HSO4 negative ions. The HSO4 negative ions react with H plus ions, the H plus ions that we released to form H2SO4. So we use this as a catalyst and it is unchanged. It is right here, it is H2SO4, and that's why it is called a catalyst because it was chemically unchanged by the end of the reaction. So this was our electrophilic substitution mechanism and our uh, nitration of benzene. Do remember these reagents and conditions. Uh, you don't have to look them up anywhere. These are accurate reagents and conditions and you can learn these and you'll be good to go. So let's move on to our next reaction. The Friedel Crafts alkylation of benzene. So. Uh, Friedel Crafts, the, uh, the, the, this reaction is named after the scientists uh, Friedel Crafts, Friedel and Crafts, and uh, alkylation of benzene. So, as you know, alkylation is basically adding an alkyl group to the benzene molecule. So, for this, uh, we also follow an electrophilic substitution mechanism. So I have written that we use an RCL which where R is the hydrocarbon part of the molecule. R is what we need to add on a benzene ring. So for example, let's take R as an ethyl group. So for example, we want to add an ethyl group to our benzene ring. So this is our ethyl group and uh, so when we have our Cl this becomes CH3, CH2, Cl. So, so this is chloroethane, chloroethane and we use chloroethane uh, if I want to add this ethyl group to my benzene ring. So first you can see that here we have an AlCl3 catalyst. So first um, I'll just make this over here. Like I want to use this space to draw the mechanism, uh, the electrophilic substitution mechanism and do a recap with you. So uh, this CH3CH2Cl, uh, the chloroethane molecule, it reacts with the AlCl3 catalyst. Uh, so it gives us AlCl4 negative the complex like it did in the case of the bro, uh, when we were use, when we were adding bromine uh, you saw that it gave an, a complex of AlCl4 negative so we AlCl3 Br negative so right now we have AlCl4 negative plus CH3 CH2 plus so CH3 CH2 plus and uh, so we have this ethyl group, now it, ha it has a positive charge on it, so now I can add it to my benzene ring because it has a positive charge. So I have my benzene ring over here, my circle inside, 
I have my CH3, CH2 group. 